Best Man Holiday. I love it, second time around, this is great. It has been 14 years since the first one. So first let me say, okay, what took so long? First, let me ask you that. It was never my intention to make um, a sequel right away. If I was gonna revisit these characters, it was gonna be 10 years later when they've had a chance to live some life. You know, so that they can, you know, we can have something that would be more sophisticated, more complex. Because what you think about when you're when you're a postgraduate in your twenties are very different than what you think about when you have children and are married and have mortgage and career choices that you have to make. Fortunately, the movie does stand the test of time, and people have been demanding it. I want to know what was the most fun part about filming this movie. Group yeah, scenes and the, and the choreography for me, mm -hmm. the, uh, the, yes. the, the, the candy stand with Randy, yeah, that one. You know what? You need help. You no, audition called, they want their steps back, by it the way. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are now. Who was trying to sing really loud? <laughs> they wanted to like those out. Was it you or was it the other guy? No, it was Terrence for sure. Like yeah. you see, like Terrence threw that. You saw Terrence was end. spinning and drop to the knees. That was all Terrence. That wasn't the choreography. No. Terrence was what? like, no. yeah, the man you can know. do anything. That's the person. You know, he took it to the you next level. <laughs> and we were watching it. We're like, look at Terrence. Look at Terrence. <laughs> Tay, Terrence, and Harold wanted to sing out loud. <laughs> I'm the only one that couldn't sing, so I wasn't even trying to do that. All the guys I've talked to have said that you were the one that was trying to clown the hardest during the dance routine. I wasn't trying to clown. <laughs> I was just trying to get my own little groove on. You know, Quentin yeah. got his own little... Quentin I was trying to own. outdo merch, you know. Mm -hmm. But he was on Broadway and all that little dance ballet stuff. <laughs> I'm questioning him a little bit. Oh, you know, gosh. And all that. He danced way too good. Really? Way too... I what think about he was... Your split and your... Yes, that. that split. Thank you. Yes. That split caused me a hip replacement <laughs> last month. <laughs> you had a lot of training going on this time around. I mean, I did. you was cool, you know, and you you have a little bit of NFL in your background, right? Well, I wish I had. I wanted to play in the NFL, but it didn't work out for me. Okay. Um, but it was great to be able to put on all those pads and you know run around with all those football players and um, and not get hit. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a fantasy camp. <laughs> I, I, I had a great time. I understand that you reshot the ending. What was the decision behind that? Well, the, the ending that we had originally was uh, what, in some ways a little confusing for audiences. I think some audiences really understood it. Mm -hmm. um, and not as satisfying as the new, new ending that we have. You gotta give people what they're, what they're looking for. Um, and I thought it was a, a good way to kind of end it in that way, you know, with that was that was emblematic of the movie, which is, you know, emotional and very funny. The ending for us was done. I think yeah. they had to pull Terrence and then and, and a couple other And a couple other people. So we, we haven't even seen that ending yeah, yet. We so haven't. Yeah. This is like a surprise ending mm -hmm. for us as well. Mm -hmm. oh. so, I mean, we what if the ending up. was, oh no, Julian and Candace were in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they did? <laughs> I love this woman. Yeah, I know, and She's I, so I loved funny. you when you were in the fight scene. Oh, oh. Where do you learn to fight like that? <laughs> well, well, you know. <laughs> Tell me, was there ever a time where you had to take the earrings off no. into the ring? Grease, off? grease the face. <laughs> Put the hair up. <laughs> Melissa, I gotta ask you, the fight scene, girl. Ooh. Where'd you learn to throw down like that? Because at one point I saw you on top of Candace. Yes. So, uh, you know, these are some back in the day stuff. I'm a Queens girl of heart. I'm from New York. I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> Regina is the same thing. So, you know, we they didn't see they don't know that side of Shelby, but Shelby, listen, I'm gonna put it in. I put in work. <laughs> I wanna ask you about this this belly. Mm. Were you hot? I mean it was <laughs> so hot. And let me tell you something. It was heavy. It was nine months, right? So they actually made it so that it was a true nine month belly. I had a little leg showing through. Oh. It was funny because I got a lot of the, I got a, a insight into a lot of the uh, actors' sadistic nature. They would literally punch me in the stomach every day. First of all, <laughs> I'd be sitting there like, oh. How oh, mean. So mean. Oh my so God. Nice. Just, look, he's so funny. So much pleasure out of it. Talk to me about your experience in shooting this film. It didn't feel like work because we actually really like each other. So 
you know, for the most out. part. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we had fun, and I think that chemistry translates to the screen. After reading the script, I welcomed the opportunity as an actress to try and go through that range of um, emotion and um, physicality of it all, and to connect with Morse in that way. Um, they have a successful marriage and four beautiful children. Um, who wouldn't want to be right. in that mm. in that uh, house? Too. In the, oh mm. my God! <laughs> Talk about Candy a little bit. I mean, she Candace. 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 <laughs> See, she's calling me my stripper name. I know she must have been talking I, to she's Shelby. She's been talking to Shelby. Did you just leave Shelby? You just left her. Well, to talk to me a you know, bit Candace is now Candace. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the, the first that's thing. And and she she she's no longer dancing, and she's uh, married with two children to mm. this. Wonderful man. This is on YouTube. Oh, damn. Your wife is a freak. Hey, hey. Hey. Can I use your phone? I can't get a signal in here. She doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what that time, you little monsters? What would Q think of Terrence? He'd be like, dude, what you doing, man? <laughs> Come here, man. Come here. Smoke this joint. Let me have a word with you for a second. Get these people out your life. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, you almost got it, man. Just just, just, just be you. Nia, did they match you and Eddie up according to Dimples? I was just wondering. Exactly. You, you uh, guys, you were no. such a cute couple on there. We, they they didn't, but I guess if we ever had children, they'd have to have Dimples. Yes. <laughs> My baby has Dimples. I love his little Dimples. Get him whatever he wants. So <laughs> yummy. What is your leading lady thinking? think about Best Man Holiday? Has she seen it? Uh, my real life leading lady. Yes. She has not seen it yet. I hope she does like everyone else. I hope she laughs. I hope she cries. I just hope she feels. Okay. All right. Well, and Monica, do you have a leading man that will see Best Man Holiday? Uh, he's probably going to be in the theater, you know, trying to figure out if he can catch up with me to give me his number. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, girl. I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Send me I'm roses. Right there. And find out if he has a brother for me. <laughs> you know what? I will help you out with Thank that. Thank you. And that's how we do, sister. Sister girl. Love it. <laughs> Got that. Do y'all remember who was that biggest problem in your life, whether it was back in high school or now or My whatever? daddy. Say what? <laughs> My daddy. He used to whoop me every day. What? That's a problem. That's a problem, I guess. Mm -hmm. You didn't get whooped? No. My daddy whooped my ass every single day. He sometimes he'd come home and whoop me because he not for doing nothing, but he said, I know you did something. <laughs> I'm being serious. I'm thinking if you guys go warm each other up. Good night. It's Christmas and I'm willing to give and I'm willing to receive. It's a wonderful uh, movie going experience for the audience that really loved the first movie and and beyond. <laughs>